sometimes you you can't get the wheels down they won't lock down or something you know some flack or something hits something in there that won't let them work and then you have to make a belly landing and, and that's good because you can usually do all right it messes up your propellers because they hit the ground <coughs> But it also messes up that tail turret, which was good. Uh, I mean, the belly turret, because then then they take that belly turret out, put a piece of plexiglass in there, and put a a socket in there that you put a 30 caliber or 50 caliber machine gun in, and that worked. That belly turret didn't work at all. It was no good. Sometimes we didn't have any guns in the back of the airplane. We had a top turret and that that worked well but we had no turret in in the or no no guns in the back of the planes we'd stick broomsticks in there sometimes and paint them black to make the german fighters think maybe we had guns sticking out of there and sometimes we'd take that blister out of there and we'd take a jeep spring or something and mount a 30 caliber machine gun on it and and fill it full of tracer bullets and give the top turret gunner a, a button that he could hit that would set that thing off and because of it being on a spring it would just bounce all over and just fill the air with those tracer bullets and and that uh, discouraged German fighters and uh, that was something but that was all stuff that, that they did on the ground in the field a lot of ingenuity out there. Well, another thing we did, uh, we had armor plate that, uh, we, and whenever a plane went down, uh, I think every pilot in the in the plane, they'd have them cut out a piece of armor plate and put it in the seat underneath. We had seat pack parachutes and put it in the seat under that seat pack. So we thought that would give us some help. With